You are going to need to associate the learning objectives to each project Dropbox folder. To do this, click the Content tab, click Dropboxes. Click on the little arrow, which is the context menu next to the Dropbox. Click Edit Folder. On the Properties tab, you're going to need to scroll down and underneath the instructions, make sure that Allow Users to Add This Folder to the ePortfolio is checked. If it's not checked, please check it. Then click the Objectives tab. Click the Associate Learning Objectives button. A window will pop up. Click on the symbol, the plus symbol, next to the AVMA Standards. Then what you're going to do is click on the plus symbol next to the standard to open up the skills. In this particular case, I'm going to choose laboratory skills. Next, click the checkbox or checkboxes next to the specific skills that are related to this particular Dropbox project. Then click Add Selected. So that's the first step. The next step is to add an assessment. To add the assessment to the each individual uh, objective, you click on the little arrow across from the name of the objective and choose Add Assessment. You then choose Select Rubric. You're then going to click the radio button next to the rubric that this particular objective will be uh, evaluated from. Click Save. You then have a choice to choose the criteria. Most times you're going to choose overall rubric score instead of the individual uh, rubric areas. It's real important and make sure that you checkbox this the activity is required to complete the learning objective and then you choose the threshold level. In this particular case I'm going to choose 3. Then click Save and then what we're going to do is repeat this process for each objective. Add assessment, select the rubric, click save, I'm going to choose overall score, checkbox, and then click save. And then I'm going to go ahead and click save and close. And then what you're going to want to do is repeat that for each uh, project Dropbox that you have.